as I go to the top of the swing, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let those hands and arms rotate, my chest rotate, and I'm gonna pull that club to the top of the swing. As I start down, I'm gonna square that club face up. That would be the, the, the bowing of the left wrist, the palm coming back toward my chest. My right hand kind of extending where the knuckles are back, and that's gonna square the club face up early. So let me show you what this looks like. I go to the top, I square that club face early, and you'll see how my club head starts to turn down where it's facing the golf ball. That's what the pros are doing to square that face up, hit that nice draw, and really compress the golf ball. The opposite of that would be, instead of squaring this face up here, I have my wrist the other way, and now my face is wide open. That's gonna be that over the top slice. From there, I'd wanna come this way, my face is open, the ball's gonna go up in the air, it's gonna slice over into the woods on the right side of the fairway. So I wanna make sure, make that big turn, square the face, come down to contact, and then all the way on through. This is the first time you're gonna to come to your finish. So as we do this again, good full turn going back, square the face, come all the way on through to the good full finish. Now my right shoulder's coming around to the, the fairway as far as I can get it to go. I'm balanced over my left foot. So if you'll see here, I could pick up my right foot and I'd still be facing the fairway. My belt buckle is facing the fairway. My chest, as I do this, is nice and high. So good turn back, square the face, come all the way on through. And now my chest is facing up toward the sky. I can really rotate on around. My chin is nice and high and that ensures that I'm completing my swing. What I don't wanna do is square the face, come down and then stay down here. I've stopped my swing. I'm just all hands and arms coming on through. I wanna get my body rotating all the way on around, completing that good full finish. That can only happen if my right foot comes completely off the ground. I have to be all the way up on the toe to get that to rotate all the way around there. I really wanna feel like I'm balanced on my left foot. So as you do this, feel like you hold that finish for a good three seconds. So I'm all the way rotated around. Again, balance on my left leg. You'll notice how here, if I was to go ahead and stay on this left foot, I could stay here all day. It's almost like I'm facing the target. The only difference is my feet are pointing in a different direction. So do a few more reps of that. Full turn back, square the face, full finish. Hold your finish for a good three seconds. And when I say hold your finish, it doesn't mean you have to hold the club in your finish. You can let the club relax. It's I'm holding my feet, my hips, my chest, my body, watching that, fair, that ball go down the middle of the fairway. 